Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add and delete whole columns and whole rows to your tables if needed. Remember that Publisher will automatically add new rows at the bottom of a table when you press the tab key with your insertion point in the lower right corner cell of the table. We looked at this before. If we're in that last cell and we hit tab on our keyboard, it's going to automatically add a row for us. We'll undo that. However, you may also need to alter the table's structure to add or remove columns and rows. In this lesson, you'll learn how to insert and delete columns and rows in a table. To delete a column or row, you must first select the columns or rows that you wish to delete. Now remember, we can select a column like this. We could select multiple columns if we wanted to delete those like that. However, if you only want to delete a single column or single row, all you need to do is click into the cell within the column or row that you wish to delete to indicate your selection. After you've made your selection, click the Delete button in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. So up in the ribbon, under Layout, we'll go to Rows and Columns and we'll click the Delete button. From the drop-down menu of commands, select either the Delete Columns or the Delete Rows command as is appropriate for your selection. So we could choose Delete Columns, for example. We'll go ahead and undo that. Now to add a column or row, click into a cell within a column or row that is adjacent to the location where you want the new column or row to be inserted. Then, use the buttons available up in the Rows and Columns group on that Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab up in the ribbon to insert either a column or row in the location shown on the button. Let's look at that. So if we look up here in that same Rows and Columns group, we have four buttons. We have Insert Rows Above, we have Insert Rows Below, we have Insert Columns to the Left, and finally, insert columns to the right. So you can just give that a click, and it will insert whatever your selection was. Go ahead and undo. Note that if you want to insert multiple columns or rows, then simply select the number of columns or rows that you want to insert before clicking one of the four buttons. For example, if you select three columns, let's go ahead and do that. and then click the Insert Left button right here. You'll insert three columns to the left of the selection, just like that. And we'll go ahead and undo it. So that's all there is to inserting and deleting columns and rows. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.